reduction and in this video I will tell you a few of nutrients to consume that will boost your immune system. We have all fallen sick at some point in our life, be it a common cold or flu or even some kind of an infection. Usually our body is great at fighting and defending us against these infections but sometimes when our immunity is low we fall sick. Now, our immune system is what defends and protects us against these infections, and these could be either viral or bacterial. And our white blood cells play a key role here. Low immunity can be caused by age, deficiencies, and poor lifestyle and poor diet. So, what can we do to boost our immune system? Everything in our body needs to be in a balance to function properly. Hence, we need to have a healthy lifestyle and a balanced diet in order for our immune system to function at its best. We'll discuss the diet part in a minute. First, let's see what are the lifestyle changes that we can do to make our immune system better. First, we should avoid smoking. Cigarettes are toxic for us. They contain carcinogens and toxins, and our immune system will only get weakened by the toxins. Then we should avoid drinking, or we should intake alcohol in moderation. Because our body recognizes alcohol as a toxin, our liver works overload in just detoxifying, rather than focusing on its own other functions. Then we should maintain a healthy weight. Now, when we maintain a healthy weight, usually our endocrine system works properly. And this also affects our immune system. We should exercise regularly. Regular exercise is healthy for us and it maintains our well-being. Then we should focus on sleep. We should all get an adequate amount of sleep around seven to eight hours. When we sleep, we repair, recuperate our cells and our body. Lastly, we should maintain our stress levels. The lower the stress, the lower the cortisol levels. Now, let's discuss the five food nutrients that we should consume to boost our immunity. First is vitamin C. Vitamin C is a great immunity builder. It helps fight infections with increasing the production of white blood cells and it has antioxidant effects which helps us fight the free radicals in our body. Vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin and an essential vitamin which means that we can't synthesize vitamin C and neither can we store it in our body. Therefore, we must consume vitamin C daily. Foods that are rich in vitamin C include citrus fruits. Citrus fruits are, are oranges, tangerines, grapefruit, lime, and lemon. We can also consume red bell peppers, which are highly in vitamin C and beta carotene. Now, beta carotene is a precursor of vitamin A, and vitamin A is known to fight infections and boost up our immune system. We can also include broccoli. Broccoli is an amazing antioxidant and it has a lot of minerals and vitamins such as vitamin A, C and E and broccoli has a good source of dietary fiber. Lastly, we can also include kiwis. Now kiwis also have vitamin C in them, vitamin K full of folate and potassium. Next food nutrient to include is vitamin E. Now, vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant. It plays a crucial role in maintaining our immune system. Some of the sources of vitamin E are almonds, hazelnut, sunflower seeds, and wheat germ oil. Now, 
Another group of nutrients to include is carotenoids, specifically beta carotenoids. Beta carotenoids are a precursor of vitamin A. Vitamin A plays an important role in our immune system because it stimulates the production of white blood cells. Beta carotenoids are usually found naturally in plants. Some of the sources are red bell peppers, orange or yellow vegetables such as carrots, mangoes, peaches, pumpkin, and even sweet potatoes. They are also found in kale, spinach, broccoli. Next up are omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential fatty acids, which means we need to consume them in our diet. Omega-3 fatty acids are known for their anti-inflammatory properties. And they also help with our membrane formation and function. Omega-3 fatty acids can be found in oily fish, such as salmon, tuna. They can be found in seeds and nuts, like flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. Now, the last four nutrient that we need to include to boost our immune system is a mineral called zinc. Now, zinc is a crucial mineral for our body. Zinc is needed for both innate and adaptive immunity. Innate immunity is our natural immunity, and adaptive immunity is an acquired immunity, which usually occurs after exposure to a certain pathogen. Zinc deficiency can affect our immune cells, which are required by both the immunity pathways, and it can also increase the risk of inflammation, which can alter our defense system. Zinc can be found in red meat, poultry, oysters, and our whole grains, beans, and nuts such as cashews, and even our chickpeas. So, these were the top five food nutrients that we must include to boost our immune system. Including these vitamins and minerals in our body will help strengthen our immune system and help fight against infections. Making a few lifestyle changes, such as adapting to good lifestyle habits and eating a variety of nutrient-rich foods will help us boost our immune system. All these groups of nutrients will boost our immunity and will help us stay away from infections and diseases and even common flus and colds. Make sure you add these nutrients to your diet. Along with a few lifestyle changes, these both factors will help strengthen your immune system and boost up your immunity. Thank you for joining me. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Thank you. See you.